having that first time and you just looking at, you know, how fit somebody might be or how old somebody is, you try to outrun those people sometimes. And uh, that's I mean, kind of like from the sports I used to play is the competitive nature, mm -hmm. which interrupting is, the pattern in itself is not actually doing anything because if you don't take over and take them to a more productive path and you're visualizing they'll simply an outcome, revert back to let's say finishing in, in, in the, the example program. of the physical activities right and of so the ex, of the athletes this is a, a strategy a technique used by many professional athletes on, visualization off, obviously but it's still um, a good and basically what um, they do is yeah, that they visualize that even if it's 10 minutes my whole entire mood changes it's your posture, you realize, you, you do, I like to call a check-in with your body, right? You so need all you're of these tools. What you're talking about, you know, the pattern interrupt is actually one of the framings and one of the tools that, you know, came out of the models that Banner Can you raise your hand if you have one of your emojis? I do. <laughs> you do? Okay. I have my emojis here. <laughs> okay. So, are you ready, Jennifer? Vernisha, you ready? With running, ready. you know, okay, so, you join this community so where, me, you know, okay. you may not realize other people okay. are running. So, long story short, um, I had lost a bunch of weight, was running, um, and when Jack passed and we were talking about forming the Happy Jack Fund, uh, two of my friends came to me um, and they said, listen, we know you're busy with work. Um, we want to do a 5K race in memory of Jack. And I was like, okay, great. I was like, you know, I had no time to give to them. them. Um, but when we write it down, uh, and October, we oh to man, I want to say it was really process it and get into a problem solving mode that also removes us from feeling like a victim. We're taking action, right? Yeah. We're being very intentional about how we're addressing it. And that feels empowering. And then that actually helps to repel anxiety because anxiety is fear based. If we're taking action and we feel like we're doing something tangible, that empowers The distance between when you discover your barriers and as you're going and you um, are discovering them, the distance between um, uh, that upset of, oh my God, this is a barrier, what am I going to do? And you actually achieve, getting there and achieving it, that's the distance that is that is your spiritual journey, your psychological journey, your emotional journey. Don't feel like doing it. Don't do things because based on so, feelings. Um, because and feelings, so that's a beautiful thing. Come and go. Barriers. You, you, you have feelings that come and go. So what you should do is make a decision. Make a decision to do something and just do it. Yeah.